What's happening, dogs? Mr. Allen here, and we're about to graph this polynomial function using our x and our y intercepts. So I have f of x equals that wonderful mess right there. What can I get from that? Well, each one of these factors here could be set equal to zero and get me my x intercepts. So I'd get negative three for that one, I'd get positive one for this one, and I'd get positive four for that one. Okay, that's pretty dope. What about my y intercepts? Well, if I want my y intercepts, I need to substitute in zero for x. So I would have f of zero is equal to zero plus three, zero minus one, and zero minus four. So I'm gonna have three times negative one times negative four that's gonna give me positive 12. So we'll go ahead and label that as zero comma 12. Woo, we got, we got everything, man. Now the next part is we gotta know what the heck this graph even looks like. Okay, so here's what's about to happen. It's going to cry, all right? Now it is a cubic function here and the general shape of a positive cubic is something like this so it's got to fit on this graph so we're gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna write over some things here ready we're gonna come up whee, come back down whoo, and then back up whoo. that right there my friends is a pretty dope cubic function it's positive it's got a lot of loopiness going it's crazy dude that's dope